I was doing traditional martial arts. Um, I kind of drifted in and out of a few different styles. Did uh, uh, kickboxing, points fighting, um, all, all different styles. Um, I sort of stopped training for about a year or two when I was about 19. Um, just kind of went off it, like like most people, you come in and out of uh, interest. And then I saw UFC, uh, UFC one, um, and that really inspired me again because I felt I'd been doing martial arts all my life and uh, one of the messages with martial arts was that a small person can be the big person but I'd never seen that before. I'd heard a lot about theory about small people beating big people but I'd never seen it being done so efficiently and so easily mm. by Heist Gracie in the early UFCs so um, that really sparked my interest and um, pretty much on a Friday I saw the UFC and then on a Saturday I got a few friends together and we start rolling around on the ground and uh, that's about 12 or 13 years ago and uh, I haven't stopped. So. The position I'm going to look for is where I get my weight is going down on the seat on the inside. Okay? So you have to be careful. I don't know we're stepping in here. If my hips are up high in the air like this, when he hits this leg here, he gets some movement down. Yeah, this is my, um, I think it's my fifth gym in eight years. Um, I started off, uh, like most people in school halls and stuff like that, my first kind of official gym was um, a 400 square foot uh, garage about the size of this office, um, but not as nice, not as warm, and it's freezing here. Uh, so it was a really, was a very, very small place. Um, but I had a small group of guys uh, that were very dedicated, really enjoyed it. And uh, it was a very, it was, it was a really cool time. I really enjoyed it because it wasn't a lot of YouTube or you know, a lot of seminars weren't really available at that time. It was more just kind of experimentation, rolling around, trying to figure out what was working, what didn't work. Um, the odd time traveling to try and get a seminar in in the UK or the States or, or uh, but to be honest most of my training was just me and my training partners just kind of rolling around and trying to figure stuff out as we went along and uh, it was really cool, really enjoyable. Um, shortly after that, um, about seven years ago or so, I met uh, Matt Thornton who's head of Straight Blast Gym International and I was actually in Africa fighting and he was cornering my opponent who beat me and then the next day I went to a seminar that he gave and uh, I really liked the, the message of Straight Blast Gym about um, uh, not just the techniques were good, uh, which is pretty much similar techniques no matter what association you're in, but what I enjoyed about Straight Blast Gym was the training methods. Um, I felt it was a really efficient way of getting everybody, uh, no matter if they were athletic or not athletic or whatever they were training for. I, I, it looked to me pretty obvious that it was the most efficient way of getting people good fast. For me, uh, I think for, for students to get, if they want to get good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is most people's aim, um, the first couple of months, no matter what you're aiming for, you're just going to be getting tapped out. So by, by proxy, your initial, uh, what you're going to be advancing in BJJ is survival. So uh, getting up to sort of blue belt level, you're probably going to be getting beat by most guys getting tapped out. So you've got to learn how to survive in different positions. Um, there's no point, some guys join and after a month or two they have a, a an extensive DVD collection of, of uh, other name techniques, but as soon as you touch hands with someone, they're getting submitted. So I think uh, what's what what we try to stress here um, at the start is uh, solid fundamentals, how to keep yourself safe, how to uh, how to survive around, and then after that, then you're going to start looking at offense. But certainly at the beginning, uh, if if you don't know how to keep yourself safe in side control, if you don't know how to escape mount position properly, um, I I give up on the upside down Venetian monkey locks for a couple of months anyway. I'm John Kavanagh and this is BJJ.ie.